Congratulations, you got into college. Now comes the hard part, deciphering financial aid offers. These packages, often dense and complicated, determine how you will pay for your education. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. Don't worry. This guide will help you understand these offers and make smart financial decisions. We'll break down the components of an aid package. You'll learn how to compare offers from different schools. By understanding the basics, you can confidently navigate this crucial step in your college journey. COA stands for cost of attendance. It represents the total cost of attending a specific college for one year. Colleges calculate COA based on various expenses. COA includes tuition and fees, which cover academic costs. Housing and food cover living expenses. Books and supplies are also factored in. Personal expenses and transportation vary by student and school. COA is a starting point. Your actual cost will depend on individual circumstances. Financial aid offers help reduce your out-of-pocket expense. Understanding COA is crucial for comparing aid packages and determining affordability. Financial aid comes in two main forms, gift aid and self-help aid. Gift aid is free money, you don't have to repay it. Grants and scholarships fall under this category. Self-help aid requires repayment or work. Loans and work-study programs are examples. Loans accrue interest, increasing your overall cost. Work-study involves earning money through part-time jobs. Don't just look at the total aid amount, focus on the composition. More gift aid is always preferable. Assess the loan terms carefully. Understand the work-study requirements and whether they fit your schedule. Now, let's delve into calculating net price and projecting debt. Net price is essentially the actual amount you'll need to pay after subtracting gift aid and loans from the cost of attendance, or COA. This figure represents your out-of-pocket expense for one year. It's crucial to calculate the net price for each college you're considering to understand your financial commitment. Also, think about the potential debt from self-help aid, like loans and work-study programs. Try to estimate your loan payments after graduation, and don't forget to factor in interest rates and repayment terms. Remember, carrying high debt can significantly impact your financial future. While it's tempting to go for the college with the lowest net price, it's important to also consider the academic fit, your career goals, and the overall college experience. Lastly, factor in potential future earnings in your chosen field and balance cost with value and your long-term goals. Reassessing your aid, a yearly necessity. It's important to remember that financial aid offers are typically only good for one year. Both your circumstances and the college's aid policies can change. Therefore, it's crucial to reassess your aid package annually. Make sure to update your FAFSA or free application for federal student aid every year. Don't hesitate to contact the financial aid office at your college to inquire about any changes in the cost of attendance or aid availability. Never assume that your aid will remain constant. Stay proactive in managing your college costs. Explore scholarship opportunities and consider part-time jobs or internships. Managing college costs is indeed an ongoing process.